What's going on guys, TKD12, the big video, and today we're going to talk about the brand new news we got here involving the Nintendo Switch online paid service. Now, of course, with the Switch being announced, you know, we all had the speculation, all had kind of the guess and the really questioning of the online app that they will be running with to use their online services like Play Online, you do, you know, voice chat, game matching and stuff like that. And so that, you know, when they first announce it, they said that it will be done through your cellular device and it'll be off of the app pretty much. And, um, you know, that created a lot of, you know, negativity and really a lot of kind of just questioning, you know, what they are doing really, you know, especially, you know, in terms of this channel like with myself you know i had a lot of speculation with man and i have like talked a lot of trash low key i ain't gonna lie about it man i've talked a lot of trash um about you know this this weird way they're doing it you know because like it just doesn't really make sense to have you know i guess you know cross game voice chat but it's not really on the console it's separately on your phone it's it's all weird you know what i'm saying and but you know talking you know in terms of just the online service kind of like you know the actual service right where you know what you'll be connecting to and etc how you're gonna match up with games and stuff like that how you're gonna download games uh you know that that uh they you know have on a monthly basis if you're a subscriber and stuff like that they have officially announced kind of the pricing of it and you know we got news a few months ago saying that you know the pricing is gonna be very very straightforward and it's gonna be very easy it's gonna be way less than you know playstation plus or xbox live and here with the pricing they seem to have kept that promise to a t so when looking at the pricing here, right, they firstly posted it on their website, and of course, I'm reading the IGN article where, you know, this is usually where I, you know, I get a lot of my news from, uh, you know, when it comes to terms of gaming and stuff like that, I get a lot of it from IGN, but coming at this IGN article here, we have the official kind of slated membership tiers that you can sign up for with Nintendo's online paid service, right? So how it breaks down here is that for one month, you know, just for membership for Nintendo's online Switch paid, you know, thing, all that, for one month, it's $3.99. So $4 a month, basically, if you want to go that route. However, you can also do a three-month membership for $7.99 or just $8 straight up. So three months, you get it for 8 bucks. And then, you know, I feel personally there is a steal option here where you get, you know, a full year, 12 months uh, for $19.99, aka $20 a year. So I feel like that is definitely the best offer there, especially, um, you know, because when you get to, you know, playing from month to month, uh, you you can see how with that, you know, just going to build up and stack up. So I feel that, you know, the, the definite 12-month membership, you know, the one year is definitely the best way to go here because that, you know, falls in line with at least, you know, how, how I like to pay things. I like to pay things annually. I'm saying like if I can, I like to pay for it annually, right? I don't like to pay, uh, you know, month to month. Whatever. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not down with that. You know what I'm saying? But um, uh, you know, with this one year, it is perfectly fine to, you know, have a, you know, just just have someone pay twenty dollars a year, uh, for them to be able to do online chat and stuff like that. And you know, of course, you know, I have mixed opinions about, uh, you know, them kind of, you know, pushing off their, I guess, you know, cross game voice chat to a smartphone app. Um, you know what I'm saying? But overall. 20 bucks is extremely extremely fine in my opinion it's not hard uh, to argue with really so you know what man you know what i i'm gonna give nintendo uh you know props man it wraps up nintendo man this this pricing uh, is beautiful uh this pricing is not you know unfair it is not crazy it is not unreasonable man so you know what shout out to nintendo for real man because so far they have two wins here okay Number one, the Switch is doing absolutely great, right? You know, we are getting great reviews for ARMS. We got great things uh, from Mario Kart, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we got great things as well, um, you know, coming from Zelda, of course. And uh, you know what, man? This is also another win here, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, with the pricing on their online service, man, it's pretty good. It's not too bad. However, they do have... Uh, one L that we got to address. Hey, you know, man. Like, I mean, you know, I mean, I mean, what is a Nintendo story, um, without some sort of L or some sort of, uh, you know, I guess, I guess, backtracking, if you will, on the, you know, praise of Nintendo, right? So here we are, right? Look at the same article, of course. We haven't mentioned, you know, the blaring, uh, you know, word that is in the title that is delayed. Yes, Nintendo's online service has been officially delayed to 2018. Now, uh, we don't know when in 2018, we don't know a month, we don't know a quarter, we don't know anything really, you know, just in terms of when in 2018. But, uh, the official rollout of the online service, uh, you know, is going to be officially unveiled and really launched uh, in its full entirety and its full form in 2018. 
However, that does not take away the free uh, trial thing, right? So that is still going to come out this summer, they say. Uh, you know, they are still set to, you know, just um, have out that free version um, of the app, you know, this summer. They said that that is still going to be a thing, right? And still going to get, you know, all the things that, uh, you know, subscribers would have access to in the Eve shop, you know, including, you know, discounts and digital games and content, whatever and stuff like that. And, of course, they also said that, you know, with, you know, it being free, for that kind of time where you know it's going to be free and the trial whatever and stuff like that um that will extend on to 2018 so you know regardless uh it won't be cut off early because you know originally they said that it would come out later you know sometime in the holidays and stuff like that you know during uh november december however since it's been pushed back to 2018 uh you know that free time has been extended all the way till the official launch of the service and then i took some time to answer some questions from ign and one of the questions were uh will nintendo announce new details about new online service at E3 2017 they said we will announce for details later this year so uh, who knows if that means that they will or won't I don't know what the, you know that was kind of like a very very vague answer and they gave plenty of vague answers as well uh, going on here but this says does the compilation of classic games include Super Nintendo and, and Nintendo 64 games they say quote at launch the classic game library will include NES games Super NES games continue to be under consideration but we have nothing further to announce at this time so that's a big maybe answer will the test version of the chat app launching this summer include the appointment feature. Starting this summer, any Nintendo Switch owner with a Nintendo account and a supported smart device will be able to use a version of the smart device app with limited functionality. We have nothing further to announce at this time. So that's a big probably no, right? And then they say, is a subscription to the new Switch online service the only way to get classic games or will there be a virtual console type service that allows you to purchase games individually, right? This is a big, big question. A lot of people were asking about some sort of virtual console on the on the Switch and stuff like that. They say, we have nothing to announce on this topic. So that's a big, uh, maybe we'll talk about it later or something like that. And the last question they asked Nintendo is, are the classic game selection compilation titles yours to keep as long as you're subscribed to nintendo online do you lose access to these games if you unsubscribe the nintendo switch online collection of classic games is available only to users with an active subscription so just like when you have ps plus or xbox live and stuff like that um you know with their service uh um games with gold that's what that's what's called uh you know if you you know opt out of the service you will lose access to those games you've acquired for free through the service so just keep that in mind as well the same goes for nintendo's online service so hey man this is interesting stuff here like, like you know this is pretty cool i like the pricing right you know uh of course uh we do have the delay here so that is kind of an l on nintendo's part but i'm sure uh you know it will turn out fine but let me know what you guys think down below do you guys think that this is a good thing a bad thing do you guys like the pricing do you guys hate the pricing let me know in the comments below and make sure we're done check my video from instagram twitter snapchat where you all follow me on there all that good stuff and make sure to tune in again you know i'll be streaming here and there a lot throughout the summer guys so you know definitely tune into the streams like last night we did ultra in 86 so you know that was pretty cool and stuff like that so definitely go check out one of my streams as well uh you will get you know a uh, notification i always stream on youtube so you'll be able to see that uh, as well so thanks for watching and as always i got you